up guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video tutorial we'll be creating line graph and dotted pages using InDesign it's very easy so let's get on with it shall we so these are the pages that we are going to create today lined graph and dotted now open up your InDesign if you haven't done that already now go to file new document choose your page size and if you have a different uh, size like five by seven or letter size you can enter them here or choose from the drop down menu and for orientation you can choose portrait or landscape for this notebook tutorial let's do portrait and we'll leave the column section as is and for the margins i usually put half an inch because that's a standard margin size and if you're going to bind this you need ample space for the binding or if you do spiral notebook half an inch margin is enough i just make everything the same most of the time but you can change your margins in any way you want and a 0.25 inch is fine as well so for this tutorial let's do six by nine portrait with 0.5 inch margins on all sides and then click OK. Here is your margin. Anything inside of this box is OK. Normally, I don't use margins for my graph and dotted pages, but for lined notebooks, I need to have it. To create lines, graph, and dotted pages, I normally use master pages. This one here. So a master page is a non-printing page that you can use as a template for the rest of the pages in your document. It can contain text and graphic elements that will appear on all pages of the publication, such as headers, footers, page numbers, etc moving on to get to master pages click pages here and if you don't have this window yet just go to window and click pages and it will show up so here you'll see a master and you can add more master pages if you like for now we'll use this default double click on a page and here you can work on the master page so you just double click this one and it will show up this is your master page to create lines, the spaces in between lines should all be the same. So what I normally do is I use the type tool, this letter T here, just click on it, and we want to have our lines inside the margins. So click and drag it all the way to the bottom, just like drawing a box within this margin. There we go. Now for the lines, go to table, insert table, and here you can set the rows and columns. So let's say we do 34 rows or that will be 34 lines and since this is a line notebook we'll only have uh, one column and that's it click ok but we're not done yet if you preview this click here click preview you see a border all around and we don't want this so to get rid of it just highlight the table here is where you can manipulate the stroke of your table since you don't need the left right and top sometimes the top line you can leave it as is but i like my notebook with a little bit more space at the top so disable the bottom and the center line and click on the stroke or the border tool and click none Ta-da! now we have an evenly spaced lines now for notebooks i like my lines a little bit thinner than this so what i do is highlight this again like this but now since we only want the middle and bottom lines affected we disable the rest and enable the middle and bottom so we disable this and enable the middle and the bottom then change the stroke here to 0.5 there we go that's more like it okay let's go back to normal view so we can see our margins now i want to copy this to the right uh, side of my master page so click the selection tool and uh, click on your page or lines then click on your table an easiest way to do this is to hold the option key and drag the element to where you want it like this or you can also copy and paste it. Now we have created line pages. Next is to populate the rest of our notebook pages. Now we have created line pages. Next is to populate the rest of our notebook. So click on a page here and we can create new page by clicking this icon down here, create new page. There you go. It already has lines and it's because by default master page is applied to new pages. So, and you can add more pages if you like by clicking this icon but if you are creating a hundred page notebook clicking 99 more times is not the best way so what we do is right click anywhere here and insert page 
Now you can type any number here. Say this notebook will have about 50 pages. And we already have uh, two here, so we need 48 more. And uh, for insert, you can choose which page, after page, before page, at start of document or at end of document. We'll just leave it like this. And for the master, it's a master. We're choosing the a master and there's none and a master. And then click OK. Now we've just populated 50 pages and all lined pages here, as you can see. You can also insert some graphics or codes if you like, and that's it. Next is the graph page. Let's just use this document still so you will know also how master page works properly. So go again to master pages section and then right click and choose new master. Name your master page so you don't get confused later. So we'll name this um, graph. This okay, graph and then hit OK. Now we've created a new one. Uh, it's B graph and then we've created a new master page. And we still have to use the type tool. Click and drag it all over your page. We will disregard the margins here. So from this point to this point. There you go. Then go to table, insert table, and enter the number of row and columns, say 38. And the columns would be 30. And then hit OK. There we go. Let's do preview so you can see. If you can see down below, let's, let me zoom in. You can see here, there's still a little bit of space. So what I normally do is just drag this all the way. And it's, since it's not of the same um, size, I highlight the whole thing and then right click on it and distribute rows evenly. Now it's equal size. And you can also add more rows if that's what you want. And there you have it. You can also change the stroke of the graph just like we did for our line pages. If the stroke of this uh, graph page is too thick for you, highlight everything and then uh, change the stroke here. So now you have two master pages, lines and graph. So now we have two master pages, right? The lines and graph. If you want to create a graph notebook, just right click the graph master page. Right click this one. Click apply master page to pages and apply master page, this is the, the one that we need, to pages, all pages, and click OK. Now if we go here, now if we look at the pages, now we have 50 graph pages. We just changed the line pages to a graph page. So are you with me so far? You better, because we still have one more to go. Now let's do the dotted pages. These notebooks are typically used for built journaling, sketching, drawing, etc. Same thing like we did earlier, create new master page. Call it dotted. Hit OK. There you go. And use the type tool again. Click and drag. And go to table, insert table. And let's say we do uh, 38 uh, lines. Hit OK. There you go. So if you highlight this one, and go to strokes, you can see the default as strokes here, or you can also go to strokes here and see the default. Now, even if InDesign already has these dotted and Japanese dots, these are not the strokes that we need. So the solution is we create our own. So in order to do that, we click this tiny menu here and hit stroke styles, click new, and name the stroke example new stroke and for the uh, type it would be dotted for the pattern length this is where you want to estimate how wide your dots are from each other so let's try um, 5 mm we can always edit it later and preview weight will leave it at one then just click add done and here is your new dotted stroke and just click ok and to change the line stroke just highlight the table again, or if it's already highlighted, then that's okay. And make sure all the horizontal lines here are enabled. So we disable these side lines. And then click on stroke and just choose your new dotted stroke. There we go. And if we zoom it in, you will be able to see. Go to view, over print view. There you go. And if that's how wide you want the spaces in between dots, then you're good to go. Otherwise, just edit the stroke you've just created. And same thing we did with graph and line pages. 
If you want to create a dotted notebook, just apply to all pages to dotted master page and it will automatically change the design pages. And there you have it, three different types of notebook you can create easily. You can save this and compile as PDF. And that's it, easy peasy. You can create different designs for your cover, compile everything, print it, and then sell. That's another way to make money. Start now by subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content-packed videos.